Hi, my name is Bogdan. My belt buckle broke. Man, what? Boy, correct. And today we're going to talk about how I protract the thick. But before that, I really need to change because I'm really starting to feel on my back that uh, my body is 70% water. Oh. So wet. Okay, so yet again I stand before you wearing something that's too tight on me and something that I have been able to wear since 2018. Now, if you're confused about what you're watching, nice! This is all I have going for my channel. But just to clear things up, three months ago I made How I Contracted the Thick, where I lamented about how I ballooned to 93.2 kilograms and, more importantly, where I proclaimed that I will lose roughly 16.2 kilograms by the end of August. Um, much like uploading regularly, I failed. Or did I? I mean, yeah, I did, but how hard? Well, uh... Chewing? Yeah, I managed to lose 8.2 kilograms. Wow! That's a lot. Great job. Well done, you. Okay, where's the butt? In your pants. Gigantically. Though, I do have to say, I'm a bit disappointed. If only you'd lose weight as fast as you lose your motivation to make videos. Bitch, that cut deep. Of course it did. You have a lot of adipose tissue. Okay, I'll take the L here. Really? You look like an Excel to me. What the fat even is this video? Right, failing to lose weight. So after I made how I contracted the thick, I was feeling quite self-assured, even arrogant about it. If I managed to lose 10 kilograms in one month in 2018, how easy was it going to be to lose 16 in three months in 2020? But uh, surely, I, I must have had a plan to enact this, right? Right? Well, uh, what my plan mostly boiled down to was stop eating any sugary products. Not phase out, completely stop consuming any sugary products. And that went just... <sighs> fucking great! I haven't consumed anything sugary in 105 days. How I accomplished that was quite mad. What I did was that I bought a coke bottle and then I scribbled on it the hour and the date when I decided to stop. And then I placed it on the desk where I can see it and it can see me all the time. Before you get uh, inspired to do something similar, know that I failed this maybe 20 odd times, the earliest attempt being in late 2015. Also I had or still have a pretty big problem with sweets, so that's why I took such a confrontational approach. But I'm okay now, I don't even see the ruby red wrapping, the firmness and the enticing shape of the bottle, how easy it glides in my hand, the gentle tingling in my fingers when I'm holding it, the black void rocking back and forth, back and forth, the whispered promise of liquid hedonistic bliss, if only I'll let it caress my lips and empty its saccharine poison inside of me. No! Stupid sexy cola bottle! Never! That was close. Now that was bad acting, but really I don't crave sugar or coke anymore. In the first month though, things were looking bleak, much like every city near a Coca-Cola factory.
However, the change happened somewhere near the beginning of month three. It's like someone flipped a switch. Not literally, but yeah, you wake up one day and your brain is like, I hate you. I mean, yeah, but you know, the other thing. Oh shit, uh, sorry bro. Uh, fine, I, I don't crave that shit anymore. Yeah, it's that, I'm not gonna say easy, but it almost feels involuntary. But in those first two months, I experienced some pretty intense hunger, almost regardless of how much I ate. And this is what I think I shot myself in the foot. Because trying to completely stop something you've done habitually for more than 20 years is quite an endeavor. Add on top of that trying to lose weight, which in itself feels like a Herculean task, and what you get is a pretty miserable experience, especially during summer. Not that it wasn't already with the... <coughs> <coughs> what? Nothing. Oh, don't worry about me. I mean, yeah, it's scorching outside and I can't ventilate the room, it will nuke the audio, but uh, it's all gravy, baby. On my back again. Oh, man, why am I sweating so much? I swear, I must have a problem or something. Wait, staying on point. Look, a smarter person would have been like, Okay, I am going to consume less sugar and less food, gradual, until I reach a point where I can enjoy eating without overindulging. Still, I've managed to stop consuming sugar. That was the main reason why I lost the weight that I lost. There were two less successful methods through which I tried to expedite the weight loss. The first one... <laughs> If you do not know what intermittent fasting is, oh, it will make your stomach turn. Essentially, what it entails is not eating for a sustained period of time. Some do it involuntarily by skipping breakfast, others do it willingly by not eating for 13 or more hours. And if you're a fellow named Jesus, you do it for a miraculously 40 days. Sure. Off. But here's the issue with intermittent fasting. It only works if you do it. Extra, extra, read all about it. Romanian yokel wins Nobel Prize for discovering link between results and work input. What I mean by that is, it doesn't work if you're half-assing it. And that's what I did. Instead of Kim Kardashianing it, I... Mark Zuckerberg did it? Damn, look at that complete ass! That one too! Now, I thought I intermittent fasted a lot. But uh, based on my fasting app's history, in three months I managed to successfully fast six times. Che? Doar atât? I'll give it you later. Uh, yeah, I thought I fasted a lot, but what I did was fail a lot at fasting. I opted for the 24 fast, but like clockwork, in the evening I would get really, really hungry and. Weird. But you might be asking, why I didn't start with a 13 hour fast and then build up on that? <laughs> Listen here, you punk. I wanna do a motherfucking 24 fast. And I'm gonna do a motherfucking 24 fast. Cause you know who I am? No, I don't. The descriptive format makes it quite difficult for me to discern who you are, where you end, or where the character starts. Essentially, having a detrimental effect on a channel as small as yours, where authenticity and relatability should reign supreme. No, I'm the dude who's gonna eat for 4 hours like I have hell's fire's rage in my belly. And for the remainder of those 20 hours, I'ma act like I have a what would Jesus do in the desert for 40 days bracelet. You feel me? Well, anyways, two. I didn't do any, until the 9th of August that is. Then I started running, not as much as Forrest Gump, but still, it's a start. Not to brag, but the first time I ran, 1.39 kilometers. <laughs> I know, pathetic, but I was never a runner. Even when I was younger and I played sports, I played as a goalkeeper. At first because I was fat enough to fill the goal, and then because I was good enough to stop the goal. Also, I'm quite prone to side stitches, and I'm quite sure that I'm running at too high a pace for the distance that I can actually run. I know, I know, I'm working on it.
I didn't say I'm improving. And I don't mean only with my running, because if my weight history app is correct, in the last month I managed to lose I managed to lose 0.4 kilograms. In the month when I started to run, wasn't affected by sugar withdrawal and, not to brag again, completed two fasts, I only managed to lose 0.4 kilograms. What? And listen, I'm not one to shy from hard truths. Your channel won't amount to anything. You shut your pie hole, you cap-wearing, sofa-sitting, phone-diddling bitch! But recently, when I'm about to weigh myself, I start to feel this resistance, even adversity towards doing so. And I think it stems from growing quite accustomed to not liking the result, despite putting in the work. But I need to reinforce the idea that if I keep doing this consistently, and more importantly, devise a plan and stick to it, the result will come. A boy can dream, can't he? That's about all I have to say. Though, I need to confess something. Uh, before writing the script for this video, I didn't aim to have a follow-up. But when I had the idea to name the video how I protracted the thick, I just knew that I had to make it a trilogy. With the first one being named how I contracted the thick, then how I protracted the thick, and the third one being named how I redacted the thick. But then again, if I were to redact my thick, this is how it would look. And I don't think that's how it works. So maybe how I retracted the thick? Though if my weight app is correct, I'm going to retract my thick in 999 days. So I guess see you in 2023. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and um, I'll see you next time.